everybody and welcome back to another episode of Roblox. Today we are back in our restaurant in Restaurant Tycoon, which is the most fancy, most amazing Italian restaurant in this here town. If you guys still are enjoying this series, be sure to leave a like rating down below. I absolutely am just so happy with how much you guys are loving this series. It is just so, so cool. But I do want to feature a comment today from Cookies and Cream who said, you can change the color of the floor by going outside of Ikea and going to the table stall things and clicking on one with the flooring on it. And so that's what we're going to be doing today. We are going to finally finally change the floor of our restaurant as well as I'm gonna be implementing a bunch of you guys' ideas for the flowers and we're also gonna fill out this little middle area right here because this whole area is super duper empty last time we did try and put down the little drink stand over here but I decided it'd probably be better to put down an extra table just so we could have more seating and I think it kind of like brings it together a little bit better with the different red and white and green because the red and white seemed a lot thicker than the green did so now it all kind of matches but anyway, let's go and try and decide what our flooring is going to be. We got to decide because I don't know if we can only use the carpet or if we can use like wooden floors or what we can specifically do. So we're going to try to hopefully see if we can do something. Change the restaurant here. No, I don't want to change the restaurant. I just want to change the flooring. <gasps> no way. Thank you so much, Cookies and Cream, for the comment. That is so amazing. I had no idea you could do it. We could even do marble flooring or plank flooring. <gasps> what would look good? Guys, please uh, give me suggestions for flooring now down in the comment section below. I'm going to pick a flooring today just so we can get rid of this ugly, ugly carpet. But if you guys have any suggestions for what you want the carpet to look like, or not the carpet, but the flooring to look like, let me know down in the comment section below. But I think for now, I think, wait, can we change the walls too? Oh, and it costs diamonds. This is what we use the diamonds for. I'm so glad I have 48 diamonds. Okay, okay, okay. So what's gonna look good? We have the different sort of, we, I think, a, would a wood flooring look good? Would a marble floor look good? I'm thinking probably a wood floor and maybe, should we go something dark or something light? Like we gotta have it match something. We kind of, I, the only reason I say dark is so it kind of matches the ceiling a little bit. So we go with this, like, no, not, not that color plank, but we go to planks and then we go to here. Let's go back over here and see what this looks like. Yeah, so this right here, ooh, you know what? We have a bunch of diamonds, so let's go ahead and do that. You purchase brown plank wood floor. Now, how do we actually change the wood floor? Or does it change automatically? Oh, I think it changed automatically. Wait a minute, let's go see how this looks. Oh, yes, I think this looks so much better and it definitely matches the top. Is this too brown? Like I said, please give me suggestions for what you guys like color-wise and if you want it to be wood or marble or carpet. But I think this looks a lot better than it did before. I think that this kind of makes the restaurant look way less ugly. So I hope you guys agree. And uh, like I said, just leave me, let me know the color and all that stuff that you guys want down below. And I will definitely implement it. But thank you so, so much for the comment. Now I do know that we can change the floor to whatever we want as long as we have enough diamonds. And I did just get a tip in diamonds as well. What is this? I don't want to buy currency. Okay, now can we change the walls? I see a thing to change the floor. I do not want to change the restaurant, but I do want to change the walls. So if there's a way that we could change like the colors of the walls or even the ceiling, that would be really good too. So if you guys know how to do that, please let me know. But a comment that I saw a lot by a lot of different people was regarding these flowers. And so we can actually change the different colors of these flowers right here to red. Oh, we know, is this just a flower pot? Oh, I thought we could actually change the color Okay, okay. I really thought that we could change the color of the actual flowers that are inside. Okay, oh my goodness. Okay, this completely changes everything. Because a lot of you guys said you want me to put red flowers and green flowers and white flowers, which I completely would if we were able to, because somebody had actually mentioned that I should put the different sort of colors that correspond with the different, um, the different tables, or I'm sorry, the different chair selections inside the restaurant. Oh my goodness, $37 plus tip. We're making money so much faster now that I'm able to just, we gotta close out of this. Now that I'm able to just have the restaurant be open and I don't actually have to run it or work it myself, it is so much better. And we're getting so many diamonds again, so we are gonna be able to change the flooring to whatever you guys want as well, so it should all be good. Alrighty, let's go, okay. So the flowers aren't specifically what I thought they were. I don't know if we have any room for the flowers here. I really thought that we could change the flower color because then it would have worked. We gotta fill out this middle area right here. You know what, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna look through the comments one more time and I'm gonna see what you guys suggested for the middle of the restaurant right here. I'll be right back. Okay, I actually do see a comment right here from Kawaii Gamer who said, instead of the plants you have besides the arch, you should use the large flowers. And I think that's a really good idea. So we could use, okay, we can't use all three colors, but we could use the red flower because that still does fit our theme. So let's use the red flower, and then should we do a white pot or should we do a um, green pot? We should probably do a white pot. I think that would make the most sense. 
So we go here and we go to white. Let's buy two of those. And then they want me to remove the, the plants that are next to the archway and put the flowers there instead. Let's see what this looks like. All right, so let's go to flowers. Ooh, these are big flowers. Okay, there's one and there's two. <gasps> I think that looks really good. Wow, thank you so, so much, Kawaii Gamer, for the for the suggestion. I think that looks a lot better than the plants does because the plants aren't really Italian-y. And this, oh, wait, <gasps> it is green. Look, because the actual plant itself is green. <gasps> that works so perfectly. So we have the white, green, and red. And they're kind of like out of order. Like they're not the same way they're on the flag, but at least we have all the colors there. All right, but we still have to figure out what we're gonna do with the middle of this restaurant right here. And the problem is, I don't know where I can fit. But the last episode, if you guys remember, they had the um, the drink stands. They put these here. But unfortunately, I kind of changed the restaurant. I don't know where these are gonna fit. Like, they can't go right here, unless they can. I guess they could go right there. I guess that works because, yeah, you can still go and you can still access this right in here too. So I think that still works. And this person can still access this chair, which is really nice as well. All right, never mind. That's not a problem. I thought that was gonna be a problem. Totally not a problem. So I guess technically what we could do, we do have a bunch of these fences right here. So let's see if we can place down. Um, not that kind of fence. I don't think I like that one. I like the, the brown one. Oh no, I've got to put down the trash can. We got to put down the trash can or we're not gonna have anywhere to throw away all the trash. Let's put that down over there. Perfect. Oh my goodness, guys. Just look at how busy this restaurant is right now. It's looking so good. I'm so happy with how everything's turning out. But what we could do is let's go and take, I don't know if I have any of the brown ones anymore, so let's just use these for temporarily, for temporarily, I don't think that's English. But does that connect right up to it? It kind of does. So I don't like this color, guys, so don't worry about the color. But I wonder if this is gonna kind of like break the restaurant if we um, put all these walls right here. And then I think I have a corner one somewhere too. So let's go ahead, if we just go to like right there and then put the corner ones right there, so then they kind of have to walk up to here. So they walk underneath the archway and then they have to walk up to here. Oh, and then I did see another comment too that said that I should put a welcome sign somewhere, which do I still have a welcome sign? I don't think I do. Let's go over to Ikea and let's get a welcome sign because then I can put two welcome signs on each side once they get to that point. So they're like, welcome to our restaurant. <gasps> I think this is gonna look so good. Okay, okay, okay. So let's get, um, what color, what color, what color, what color? Let's get, um, should we get white ones or should we get like red ones? Let's get two green ones. We'll try it. We'll try two green ones. And I think that'll look really, really good. Oh yeah. The problem was like, oh, I can I put them diagonally. No, I don't think I can put them diagonally. That was the problem last time. Cause you want them to like be diagonal. So once you get to this point of the restaurant, then you end up, you can kind of like look at it diagonally. We could try to put one like on each side like this. Hmm. What do you guys think of that? Does that look really weird to have those two, to have those two signs? Or what if we put them, hold on, let's go ahead and store them. What if we put them right here? <laughs> These guys are kind of all, excuse me, customers. I'm sorry, I'm working on, on the restaurant while, while it's still open. But what if we put the welcome signs right there? That way it's not like right in your face. But if you do look to the left and the right, you can kind of see it right there. Let's go see what that looks like. Oh, whoops, <laughs> that one is completely, whoops, that one is, that one is off center. Okay, let's put that there. And then let's go to here, go back to build. And then welcome sign. It's gonna go right there. Okay, there we go, finish. Ah, I'm sorry, customers. I'm sorry if I'm on your way. Wait, I should probably go collect some money because I'm sure there's money somewhere. I just collect this money and this money and this money. Oh my goodness, it is so much easier to make money now. This is so nice. Thank you so much for the tip, you little customers there. It's definitely a lot less personal with the customers though because I don't actually get to spend the time with the customers anymore. <laughs> That's totally okay. Like I was just standing on the table. Like if a customer saw me do that, they're like, why is the owner of this restaurant just standing on the table? But this little like wall thing right here is actually kind of working. So, huh. Let me know what you guys think of the welcome signs right here. If I need two of them. Oh, you know what? I wonder if I could rotate them. Wait, let's go back to remove and let's remove both of these signs. And I wonder if I actually have them facing the other way if that would look a lot better. So let's go inside the restaurant. Let's get rid of that one and that one. Wait, wait, where am I? where's my waiting staff? Could you please seat these two people waiting staff? Wait, I, I bet I could, I bet I could. I could do these two. So let's go, you guys are gonna go right there. And I'm also gonna pick up, wait, you guys are gonna go right there, if you can. Okay, good, they're gonna go that way. Oh, I like how they're walking this way because I don't actually have a thing right here anymore. Let's go to the build tab and let's see if we can put down these welcome signs. We're gonna want to face them that way. I think this will look a lot better. Also, let me know if you like the uh, the green because I'm not too sure how the green's gonna look either. But let's do that and let's finish and let's see. That looks a lot better, I think. Okay, okay, okay. I think that actually looks a ton better. I'm not too sure about the green. It kind of looks weird. But I do like the placement of those signs. So 
that looks really good. So the next thing I want to do is I want to take these walls right here. Let's go ahead and put the finish tab right there. Actually, no, I want to remove. Let's remove all these walls. I do want to do this idea, but I want to get a different color because these are not that great looking and they don't really match the restaurant. I think we have to sort of fit with this dark wood theme. So let's get back over to Ikea and let's go check out these walls right here. And then we're going to want to get this dark brown. Wait, this brown or this brown? Uh-oh. Wait, which brown is it? I completely forget. All right, what are these things over here? Would these look good at all? Hmm, border straight. Purchase, purchase. Wait, is this the right brown? Oh, that's the top of it. Oh, okay. So wait a minute. If we make this white, this could look really good. Let's purchase, let's purchase six of those for right now. And let's go back to the restaurant. Let's see what this looks like. Cause this might actually look really good. Ugh. Why are those so, ah, I didn't realize that the whole thing was, oh, never mind. Oh my goodness. Those don't look good at all. All right, um, yeah, let's go ahead and place these down so I can sell them because they look so bad. I don't like these at all. I don't even know why, like, you would use those, but I guess there's use for them somewhere. I just don't know what it is. Let's go ahead and click sell, and let's get rid of all of these and make seven, $7 back from each of them. And then here is the brown border. So these is, this is what it would look like. Does that match this very well? Oh, no, because this is the same colors as these back here. So it'll match these ones back here. Okay, that makes a ton of sense, but does it look good? That's, that's the question is <laughs> we have to make sure that it looks good. Let's go back to Ikea and let's see if we can actually get a different color of those as well. I'm thinking maybe this dark brown. If you guys have a different color option for, especially for this, please let me know because I have, oh wait, no, I actually wanna get this tan because I definitely am gonna need some help when it comes to these because I have no idea, but we'll just leave it at this color for now. Let's go ahead and get one more and then we'll get the tan versions of these as well. And we'll go ahead and buy four of those. So let's go back to the tycoon. And I think this will just be a good sort of addition just to have something in the middle. And then we could always add like more boats or something but like later if we wanted to. Of course, we could always add more boats. There's always room for more boats. All right, border straight brown. Wait, we actually got to get rid of these two in here first. Let's go ahead and remove that one and remove that one and then finish and then build. And then where are, there we go. So let's do this one, this one. Actually, I think this brown looks a lot better than the other browns. Excuse me, guys. So we'll do one more length here, and then let's go get the corner, and we'll do that, and we'll do that right there. <gasps> that, I think, actually looks really, really cool. And then we have this boat in the middle right here, but we don't have to have this boat right here. We could have, like, two boats somewhere. <gasps> wait a minute, wait a minute. I think I have more boats. We can do a little test. Let's just do a little test for right now. We have two more boats remaining. So if we, at the end, ooh, ooh, wait, 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 wait. What about this? What about that? And, and where is it in comparison? Is that it? <gasps> what about that? Okay, can they still access their tables? Cause that, that's the most important thing is they have to still be able to access these tables. So I kind of want to test. Let's go ahead and see if we can sit these two people over here. Can they not get to that table? Oh yeah, see the boats are in the way now and they can't get to that table. Okay, and they just left because they weren't actually able to be seated at that table. So that boat idea might've been good, but it doesn't work unless the only way it would work is if we got rid of the welcome signs because the welcome signs are the only thing that's stopping them from getting that way. So maybe, okay, you guys get to decide, should we get rid of the boats and come up with a new way to let the um, customers get, or like we come up with a new place to put the boats or wait, let's try to sit them over there now and see if it works. Yes, so that works now. Or should we put the welcome signs here and then, or, or should we re remove the welcome signs like it is now? So let me know down below what you guys think of that because I can't think of how to do that right now. But at least we do have something else in the middle right here. And then I wonder if we could even get some more flowers because I know a lot of you guys really wanted me to implement the flowers. I wonder if we could get some more of the flowers to put like here and right here or like in front of these over here. Like we could decorate this entire place with flowers. So let's go back to Ikea and let's see what we can do. Let's get this little flower pot right here. I think that's super cute, but I want to get, I want to just make a normal brown pot, like, um, or maybe a white pot, like a cream colored pot. Hmm, I think that would look good. So let's purchase one, two, three, let's purchase four of those. And then are there, uh, I don't think these flowers really work very well in our restaurant, but are there any more upstairs is the question. We could put another arch technically. I mean, there's nothing saying that we're not allowed to have two arches, right? I wonder if another arch would look good. I thought that's only $40. Let's go ahead and purchase it just to see. I'm not gonna, it's nothing, nothing guaranteed, but I, I'm just gonna see what it looks like. And we still can't get the soft drinks, which makes me sad. And we still can't get the fish tank either. I don't know. Maybe that's just not for sale, but uh, we don't need a Bloxy statue either, unless we can come up with a place to put that. So yeah, a couple things I want to try now is let's go to the build tab and let's hit remove. 
and let's store this one and this one right here. Go back to build and let's see what another archway would look like. This might look horrible. I just want to try it and see what it looks like because we could afford it and we had enough money. Uh, where is the archway? Here we go. So what if we had two? Ah! I got crushed by it! No, I got crushed by the archway! Okay, we're good. Ooh! And then... Wait, do we have any more of the... We do. So if we do that and that, that... As long as they can still get to the, to the, the places, it's going to be good. And then... Boom! And then boom. Is two archways too much, guys? Is that way too much? Or should we add even more archways? We can add another archway. So it would be one, two, three archways. And then the place that you actually go would be like right here. <gasps> is that too much? Are they still able to make it? See, the thing is they, they've got to still be able to make it to every single one of their tables as well. This might be way too overboard. Let me collect some money so we can actually afford to do this stuff that I'm thinking about. And let's head back to Ikea, and this might be crazy. If you guys think I'm totally crazy and this idea just looks horrible, let me know, but I'm just gonna try it for today. So let's purchase three, four, five, six, seven, eight more of those. And then let's head upstairs and let's buy one more arch. This could completely be crazy, but hopefully this works out. And what, what, what's happening in my mind is actually gonna look good, but I think it might. Now we gotta make sure that this remains even. So let's go remove and remove that one and that one and finish, and then let's go get the other borders right here, and go there, there, and then we're gonna put one more archway right here. Wait, is that even? Oh, no, no, we have to remove, we have to remove one more. So let's remove that one there, and then build, and we gotta put two more borders. Put one border here, one border here, and then another archway, which is gonna go right there. Is that, is that even now? <gasps> that is even, okay, 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 and then, we can put one more. Oh, no, that's dark brown. We just want regular brown. There we go. So put one more of these here and one more of these here. And then where's my other corners? Like that. Oh, my goodness. All right, guys, is that too many arch? Is that arch or too many arches? Is that arch overkill or is that perfect? But it really, I mean, that kind of completes the restaurant to make it look more full. Like there's literally like nowhere that isn't taken. And oh, look, wait, let's see if it works. Let's see if it works because these customers go this way and then they're going to go this way and then they go get sat down there. Oh my goodness, it, this is totally working. And these guys are all able to sit right here. So we have this table of six. <gasps> guys, this is totally working. Oh my goodness, I am so happy. This is amazing. This is looking so, so good in my opinion. I really hope you guys are liking it too. But anyway, that is gonna do it for today's episode of Restaurant Tycoon. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please do a like right down below. Leave me any suggestions or anything for the restaurant down below and I'll be sure to implement them if you guys have some ideas for me. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I will see you guys next time for another episode of Restaurant Tycoon. Bye, guys.